Okay, this is propane. Let's do a little experiment here. We're just gonna do a little test here with propane. makes a great propane burner too. Because some vegetable oil that was trapped in her line from earlier's test. I can tell you one thing. This little sucker makes an incredible propane burner. That was intense. The camera can't pick up the noise, of course, but uh, when you start to feel the sound, you know things are getting a little dangerous to the ears. So as a propane burner, this thing has done exceptionally well. I am amazed. I don't think the upper chamber is even being used with the nozzle placed here. I don't think there's a need to even mess with that. It's currently configured to burn at optimum levels on vegetable oil. Let's fire this thing up again now that I got that oil out. I gotta see that again. It's just naked flow. See, it isn't mixing very well. The flame front's almost leaving the burner. Get an idea how big of a flame that is. All right, let's let her rip.
call here any second and the cops may show up. That was loud. Man. And the, the size of the flame was so small. That's the beautiful thing that I want to point out here. The energy in that flame. And you've seen how big it was lazy versus mixed. I should have did a better shot of that. We'll have to do that in the morning. This is just way too loud. Interesting as hell. Bringing that flame down to this size at that fuel output. Man, we have got an intensely hot flame. That's got to be about as hot as propane can get there. Um, that last little flame setting that I had, I think we turned like a three foot long flame into a six inch flame there. 